This video will show you how to install Sublime in Mac OS X. Let's just today I'm going to install Sublime Text 2. Since Sublime Text 3 is in beta, I'm not going to install it since the beta isn't the best. Uh, but I actually did test beta programs before, so if you want to test it, you can download the beta. But in this case, I'm going to download Sublime Text 2. Uh, it's available for uh, Windows, Mac OS X 10.6 or later, and Linux, virtually, which is great. It's, uh, it's uh, all rounded. But in this case, I'm using, the Mac, I'm using Mac OS X, so I'm going to start a new tab. And we're actually going to go to Sublime Text 2. Just search for that. I thought that Sublime Text 3 is the latest, but it's not. So I'm going to just go to Sublime Text <coughs> and download it. So I'm going to download, uh, virtually, there's also a portable version for Windows and uh, Windows 64 bit, and Linux 32 and Linux 64 bit. And apparently, there's only a, a, one version for OS X. But it, I think it detected that I'm running OS X right now. So we're going to just, uh, uh, virtually, uh, and it also contains, and also just an advantage over Sublime Text 2. It, Sublime Text 3 has more, it contains many more improvements from Sublime Text 2. But since it's uh, in, uh, in beta, I'm not going to download it. So I'm going to just go to OS X. And for your convenience sake, since my internet connection is quite slow, I, can, I already downloaded it. So I'm going to go to Show and Finder. So I'm going to just uh, virtually then run. Right, apparently, so I'm going to just uh, double click on it. Uh, it's opening Sublime Text 2, apparently, so it's finishing. And then you need to move Sublime Text 2 into the ap application pro folder. Uh, I've just moved, so we're going to, uh, to run Sublime Text Sublime. Anyway, I'm going to just in the application folder anyway. So, since uh, apparently it's not detecting it, yeah, here it is. So, I'm going to uh, just run it. Uh, I'm going to open it anyway. Since, uh, and here it is, Sublime Text 2. We're going to full, we're full screen it. Well, it's actually, um, it's uh, very sublime, it's uh, too subtle. It doesn't have that many stuff in it. But the main advantage is that you have more space to work and you can do a lot of work. So in this case, I'll make an HTML page. So I'm going to just uh, do my normal doc type uh, HTML thing. I never did HTML quite well. So I go HTML, uh, I'm going to end it, HTML. And then I'm going to just uh, I'm going, I'm going to just type this as test. Um, this is not correct. I actually don't remember how to do it, but uh, print. Anyway, this is test. But I got all this stuff too. This is a basic test. Wait, but uh, we're going to need to put that slash. Uh, I'm going to, you can save the file uh, as uh, you can save it as originally east test dot html uh apparently there's no wait uh, what enable to say test dot html but i uh, uh, there's just a let me try again uh, save as test dot html save um, apparently uh, that's uh, weird, but I I am just uh, going uh, to use it. But virtually, yeah. Um, this is how to install it. Uh, we, um, this is how to install uh, Sublime. Uh, I don't understand why I'm saying unable to save it. I think that might be a bug. Uh, but it's still saving it. Let's just see if we can find it. Uh, uh, I'm going to save it at desktop anyway. So I'm going to just save it as and so. HTML and then I'm going to put this in the desktop anyway I think that this yeah I saved correctly I this is not a bug I think I think it was not supposed to save in the first place but I'm actually going to run it and it printed this is test so uh which actually um it, so I could even add some stuff here and this is actually quite good the colors are nice and you can see an overview of everything which in the HTML file um, you can also add a new file uh, it would like actually use a very 
Chrome, uh, Chrome like tabs. So wish you can have, uh, and you can uh, wish you, and it also appears on the corner screen. There are a lot of stuff you could do this for with the phone, the add-ons and all that stuff. So. Uh, and also, whenever the, the new version comes, I'll show an installation video of that. I'm going to wait. So, this is Christian Dad's lessons. Um, so, yeah. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share this video with your friends on the internet. So, this is Christian Dad's lessons. So, this is video by Christian uh, Dad's. Check, uh, check out my Twitter account, Christian Dad's Matt. So, this is video by Christian Dad's. So, thank you for watching this video. Bye.